Hello everyone, this is a post commentary of my most recent PL2 All Customers PB of 1.23.11, achieved on 8th of August 2020. The main reason behind this is that I realize this category will not receive big updates unless someone else runs it seriously or the community finds a huge breakthrough for the rug. This is also to help me articulate my knowledge of the game and prepare to answer questions. I will also really want to attract other runners to run this awesome category. All customers means that you must obtain all 50 warp keys and rescue Sandra in X zone. You can think of it as 100% but without the tedious grinding. I think this category is great because it showcases a lot of stuff you won't see in any percent runs and it really pushes your creativity around levels. And with the recent discoveries of level 4 and 6, this rock is pretty tight other than a handful of levels. Also, huge shoutouts to Nedo for coming out with the first rock. He did all the hard work and I am simply improvising on his work. I will also mention his name and rock a lot. This is my first time commentating so any constructive criticism and comments are welcome. For example, parts that I explained too much or too less. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so first starting off, we just, we're just using Marty, nothing special. So for the first trip of level 1, I will only be rescuing Prudence and nothing else. So I used to rescue Taylor first and collect all the Papa coins, but actually that is pretty unnecessary as riders can do all of that better and faster. And also to collect all the coins along the way. So for the first trip, I just want to clear level one as fast as possible. Okay, so for level 2, I will be killing Burbes along the way as well. Other than rescuing Big Pony. And also, I'll be getting the flowers because I just think it flows better. Although it might not be any faster than doing this later. Yeah, I'm just trying to get all the first. And notice how I kill burgers around here. So if there is any slot nearby, you generally want to slide into the burgers, but not do it like that. But that is the general idea. You will see for most of the burgers in this level. Like for example, I will just wait, in, wait the burger to jump twice and then just slide over the little snow. And for this one, you want to time it so you want to slide to him while he's trying to rebound so you don't miss the burger. So for this one, you don't want to jump too quickly, you must make sure you switch your direction before you jump. Or else, the momentum will not be changed and you will jump like a, you know, vertic more vertically and will not reach 
the text, the names. So after I get that checkpoint, I will just ignore all the burgers here and prepare to set up for the event point. Yeah. So I rescue Big Polly and then I immediately quit out and re-enter as Big Polly. This is when I save and quit and it will bring me to the last checkpoint over here and so I can just collect all the, the rest of the burgers around here and rescue me along the way. So this is a most commonly used techniques in the entire run and the main reason why this rock is fun. But generally this game as a speed game. So. Really I want to kill that tomato but it's good enough. So I'll just clear level 2 and move on to level 3. So I'll be entering as Big Polly as he can collect the golden helmets, which are, turns out to be pretty fast, and we will do this in any percent. And also I will be killing the burgers along the way just so I can do save and quit later and collect all the burgers and rescue Ahuna using Homer later. For this one, there are like better methods of killing that burger, but I didn't really bother. So, for generally for movement. I would really recommend if you want to learn more about movement and just uh, be checking out the IR records, I, the IR world records because they are getting optimized almost every single day. So it's better to refer to their movements than mine because I'm not too concerned about movement in the platform. Which it sounds pretty good, but yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, I could have grabbed the ladder of the driver, but it's kind of hard if you don't practice it conscious. But this is a swipe damage boost, so I can get to the urban cycle, which is pretty unnecessary, and this part is a little bit dangerous for newcomers. So, don't really sweat that. I'll just spread the cracker block and press the switch. Get the golden helmet. I misjudge the distance and fall off. Just a little bit of time. So yeah, up to here is still pretty similar to the first route I made up. Because there is pretty much, yeah, the abilities are very limited by now, so really can't do much on the first trip. So, 
we are going to rescue scooted boomer sorry boomer and we are safe and quick so we are get back to the last checkpoint over here there's a strap to use to lock boost to get up to the balloon without going all the long way but unfortunately there is a burger around here so we kind of have to come over here and guard this it is yeah, it's pretty cool but they are not very not very useful I would say but it is a pretty swap movement so for killing burgers as boomer I normally try to use the first shot to kind of push down the burger to the ground and then just do a triple shot and it will all land on the burger like that that one is a better example a little bit and then Coming up here because I'm too used to the any percent cycle, so I'm kind of playing it safe here because I actually died here three times before this run, and I reset all of them. Okay, so we clear level four, then we move on to the touch there. Sorry, we are going to enter level four. So for this one, we have a pretty cool strat on the second visit. So for this round, we are just trying to clear this level as fast as possible. So that is the general idea for the first trips. You can see from the one. We just want to clear the levels and grab, finish the game as fast as possible and grab all the good customers. This one is a little bit misplayed. Normally, I would do smooth, smoother than that. I think this step, this room is pretty bad. We don't even get a stop. One minute from this. Yeah, it's one minute. So normally I can get that in around like 57 something. Just want to ignore everything and just run all the way up. You can actually use your normal candle to shoot the bird down. You don't really need to jump over it. It's kind of risky if you miss that. So we get the checkpoint and then switch to Kabuna to do uh, our first glitch, which is such quick kill. So every pound deals one damage, alright. And then if you do the pounds quickly, you can actually kill all the three health of such but this time i didn't mesh fast enough or i think is i don't think i landed at a good angle so i kind of you have to do the third cycle but it's still all right and you just need to hit him once which is much better than doing no skips at all and also for boomer you need to do a consecutive three hits on such to do damage so it is much better to just switch to boom switch to kahuna even though there are a lot of times and such and also for this one this is just my personal preference you can do this on the second trip but normally i like to rescue Houdini over here this trip so this mess is kind of easy just go to the right and go all the way up and then, yeah, should be. You just follow the path. So 
now we have cleared level 4. So this one is a little bit of a more boring segment and we will be collecting the worms as Kahuna and also rescue Scooter and King City. So there's like no there isn't really any like elegant way to fit this in one trip so it is we just have to do this twice. I mean when I mean by twice I mean that I can only I cannot do any like any self on quits or combining two characters into one trip and collecting the coins and the burger especially. Coming up for this one, if you actually jump at the right time, you can actually catch this button on this way coming up. You have just enough time to reach that. I mean, that timing is kind of tight. Yeah, and if you it's time your first jump into the, the corridor, then you, most likely you are going to miss the cycle. So, comparing to the first round, I don't think this level has any changes from the first round. Because like, there is a really hard to optimize anything else in this level, and everything else is just placed so awkwardly. And also, you can break the paper block over here so you don't have to break the blocks. From up there and then walk all the way back. So for this round I'm going to skip this checkpoint. So I can later when I rescue Scooter I will I can spawn at the better location which is the second checkpoint. I have only one HP here, so I'm going to play it safe. And rescue scooter and switch to scooter immediately. And so from here you can actually do a time a double jump and then land on the little platform besides the turtle. So you that saves one second exactly. So, coming up is level 6. This one we also want to clear the level as fast as possible. But unlike in any version where we collect the balloons, we actually ignore the balloons on our first trip. Because it just turns out that um, collecting the balloons later actually blends better with all the, the work keys. And also there is like one really troublesome book key we need to clear before we do the cool strap. Yes. So it is just convenient that we can do this in our first trip without any major time loss or any waste of And I'm terrible at that first room. It is probably one of the trickiest room in my opinion to do well and I can't I can never get a good time from that room. So it is pretty weird that I as a any percent runner too I have to ignore all the button. Yep, so remember to all the checkpoints other than the first one because we will come back as James and rescue break 
gitu. Well, I'm just going to take the gliders group for this room because it's, it's just way faster than anything else. So this level receive a huge shot once we found a good use of K KAE which is a glitch exclusive to scooter and we'll talk about that later when we actually use her on the second trip. Generally scooter is just a really OP character and you will see. So for now, I just want to move it as fast as possible. And do a seven quit and enter as James. <coughs> so I am now near at Greg's exit here and this is the reason why I skip all the checkpoint not sure why my keyboard is a little bit janky sometimes This is my favorite trick. This is called the tomato elevator. As I like to call it. It doesn't really save any time, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so for source lens, this is the first instant we will see. Um, we are going to do part of the a room and then save at the checkpoint and then. Resume with another character. And shoutouts to Edo for coming up with this idea. So, coming up, we are going to kill all the burgers as James here in the first room. It is like trying to drop two walk keys into one trick. It's really neat. I just want to tackle damage boost form. I am going to skip the first walk key and then make sure you don't do the backup bar click. The backup bar click on that bacon because you can't really go back if you do that. Because we need to go back to the checkpoint later. Also I'm just going to jump over the burgers first so I can down and kill them in one go rather than just rolling them with my plunger. Okay, I want to take care of the bacon. You don't really, really need to, but yeah. And then we are going to enter as Boomer because she can kill burgers fast. And we are going to turn that around. And grab the fizzle can in the first room. It just turns out that this can is close enough to the checkpoint, and it is very convenient to do this. And also for the next for the next two rooms, we are not going to use gems to kill any burgers. As all the burgers are kind of Presenting, not blocked behind the boulder. <coughs> but also, in the last room, we are going to do an exploit. And I tried to do an extended echo bar clip there, but yeah, it kind of backfired. So, now we are going to do an exploit in level 4, so we don't need to get the 
we're going behind the boulder using James. It turns out it is way faster to do that. Do that exploit. <coughs> this one is kind of a slow level because, especially coming to the next room, we are going to be lots of waiting around for the vehicle bar to move into kind of um, sink into the source. So yeah, we can talk about about and talk a little about scooter. So scooter she has a double jump ability and it is pretty obvious that in a platformer a double the ability to jump in the air is quite appreciated. And also she is a melee user. That means that she can kill things rather quickly. And there is like no extra animation such as the whip and it is always secured unlike the uh, projectile weapons where you can untime speed. And also we are going to do a walk click over here. Coming back to scooter, so <coughs> she uses main weapon. And she can do the back of bar clicks easier. And then she has her skateboard, which is the most broken thing ever. So her skateboard actually deals damage on flat ground while she's sliding. And that doesn't only apply to burgers or enemies, but also to bosses. And we'll see that in about minutes later and also she has a glitch exclusive to her called KAE which is kill all enemies and the details and as the name says it kills all enemies in the room and we'll get to that later and this is coming up, this is the exploit about the burger. So we don't need to push any borders at to round here. So that saves a lot of time. Then we are then going to do a set a quick and render as Ninjoy. Ninjoy is a wall jumper, a new ability. And the special thing about her is that she jumps farther and she runs faster than anyone else in the game. So in general, we want to use her as our main double jumper. But the two other double, sorry, the two other wall jumpers are kind of that actual, not too strong. So we are going to use her for the. That's our main model. Then up oh, is the boy. So we're going to enter a scooter. So just now I mentioned um she her, her skateboard actually deals damage to the burgers like that. So you just double jump and then press down in a direction. And also this is uh, so called room 1 skip uh, the faster room 1 you just need to jump to the platform and you'll get the match boosted by the burger and a precise double jump can actually get you over to the last part of the room so for here we are going to skip CP1 to the two burgers there Then I'm going to do a KE here, which can be done on the slope. Then when you jump once and then press down and attack. And this will clear off any 
not any but most of the enemies in the room and they are like vulnerable to damage normally there are a few exceptions like the big cobars and mushrooms that are lucky so after killing all the brothers in room 2 i am going to go back to the checkpoint and enter as king three. so <coughs> now i'm going to build the majority of the level as King's here. The reason I did the KE just now is because there is normally a, a cheese a dangling around here. And for some reason, if you actually kill them before you save at the checkpoint, they do not respond. So it is inconvenient for Kingsley because just by removing the cheese, you actually save a lot of trouble going through that the baddies. Now for this one is one of the Major pitch, which is ladder out of bounds. So, by climbing a ladder backwards when the ladder is inside a wall, you can actually click down the space below, including the void. So, this is like one of the practical views of this glitch. So, we can skip going through the two bacons over there. And also, I do that before I save because there's a high chance I will die here. And this one is probably the trickiest room in the game, other than X zone. Because I have to remember to kill the burgers and collect the reddish coins. I got a pretty good fast cycle over there. Have to wait here. So for this one, I kind of take a little bit riskier than I usually do. So we can do a damage boost over here. That saves a little bit. And also, as Kingsley or anyone who does not have additional jumps, like glide or double jump or wall jump, you have to wait until the jelly bag, I think that's the name, the jelly bag to walk over to the flat ground. So you can end on the and yeah, I try to speed up the uh, face, the tiger, the bird, the scouts walking by killing all of them. And for King's Lee, for this burger cycle, I normally wait until this like is curved half a clock position and I will do a jump to make sure I land on the land on the other side. You can do the back of bar click like that using the using a Characters such as King C, but it is much harder. And yet, it doesn't really save any time. Not any, like a whole second, probably. 
and also I will be entering as Venter as Giorgito to rescue Zoe by going here back to I think the developers try to stop you from doing this by putting this many enemies on this like this section but that doesn't really help in any way so yeah going to call this long 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 then we're going to do this again by using the drum. So the reason we do five out of six for keys here because collecting the all the coins and going back to the exit is kind of like slow and unnecessary. So we're just going to get all of this done as much as possible. Finally, we are going to clear this level and move on to the last level. The second last level. So, immediately we are going to switch to scooter. Because there is a parkour section at the first phase and the actual fight section. Which we will be using the... We will be using glitch to kill him in one cycle. So there are a lot of like optimal movement in this room and you can refer to the IL records for better movement but generally I do the movement and what's comfortable with. Yeah it doesn't really lose that much time. I think the best is like 21 or something. Yeah I can generally get that in 23 or 24. Doesn't really concern me. So we are going to wait for the yellow bombs. We can deflect this one back to him. So we are going to stun him, double jump, and we slide into him. And then the fight is over. So we can get Papa Louis. But unfortunately, we have to watch this ending cutscene here to show that this level is probably clear so we can actually enter the X zone when we collect all the 50 walk key. Or else you have to you have to do this or else X zone will not be open because the game thinks that don't really complete level 9 so, so now we are doing level at work key 6 and this one is considered the hardest work keys and the most annoying work keys in the entire game and yeah, I'm pretty bad at this one, so I'm just trying to get through this as fast as possible in my best of my ability. Yeah, really annoying. Yeah, there's like a lot of like back and forth and coins laying around at very awkward spots. Yes, I totally didn't forgot all the four coins over there. So luckily I realized that fast enough. So I don't have to reset if I forget that in like in the middle of the level then that is yes, really awful.
some people prefer using Boomer, but I'm not that good, so I'll just make it safe using it properly. Yep, and the radishes hitbox actually reaches the middle part of the thing. Coming around is another instance of Ladder of Bones, and this will be the last time we are going to do this. And you can get these three coins without actually waiting for the bacon burn, which is the moving and moving bacon to move up on up your way. And remember, always grab that coin, lowest coin over there. So if you don't need to do any back, you can do less backtracking or no backtracking at all. So this section is pretty scary if you are not familiar, but it is pretty manageable once you just you know, learn how to go hand with it. Actually, when I was coming to this session, I feel like something that is going to happen, and just watch. So I tried to grab that coin, but unfortunately, I bonked on that wall. So now I'm all the way back to the first first half of this thing, and I kind of wanted to try to do the awesome sauce strat, which is also found my needle. That trick is incredibly difficult and even the discoverer himself has only success in doing that twice. So that is a pretty unrealistic like, attempt of it. So I just have to do the walk of shame. Yeah. Try not to die a lot. Just be safe as I can. So I try to do a bacon bar clip over here. 
and that is a pretty weird one because I took damage earlier and then I just click over the record bar without even attacking or anything. So it seems like the iframes actually carry over to the one when I was trying to do a record bar click. And this one is weird. I'm not really sure why I need mean, it tries to get that 5 coins but anyways that's done and this one is a little divergence from the first rock panado I'm not sure how I see not notice it but it is there is like one little optimization I did and save about 2 minutes save about a minute at least so these are mostly the same for the first trip, which is to collect all the coins using scooter. And I did a KE just now just to clear the map. I can run a little bit faster. Okay, also that movement one. And this spot is like, actually super tricky. I could never figure out how to get the four coins. Cheap. And I can just casually jump over it. So there is actually a jump you can do over the sausage platform but I decided not to go for it this time and also there is a cool damage boost and record my plate so with KE everything is pretty simple so you can just do as much Take about clips as you want without having uh, putting yourself in a very dangerous situation. So for these two levels are uh, kind of self-explanatory and there's like, not much going on but starting from the next levels the route will change a lot from the first route and it will be pretty exciting. Yep. So for now we have no way to skip these beacons. Like in PL3 we have the dash ability. We just have to wait. Oh no. Not even Scooter can do anything about this. And this is the most commonly missed coin spots. These two, these two spots. Let's try here. Yeah. So for this round, I'm going to skip this checkpoint and grab the coins at this spot before go back and save as king say because this is actually the only spot where scooter is needed in this room so by doing that I essentially save my progress and now if I try to collect the rest of the coin as King C, I will be able to complete the key 6. And this level is actually, this 4P is actually faster with King C because, because of the 4 mushroom over there. Kahuna can only kill 2 of them in one hit, but King C 
microphone you can actually kill off them in one hit. Maybe save. Also, this is a very sketchy part in this room. Normally, we skip it, but we have to know how to deal with this as you can see without any additional movement. So, that's all coins, and now I'm just going to over to any sketch. So level 6, we are going to enter as Scooter Because we can do a bunch of KEs So first, spawning it, I want to do a KE Which I have difficulty That is previously one And I want to get all the coins of here So by coming here, I can use this burger to bounce up and that gives me a little height so, not enough to help me to reach that platform and I do a slide to kill the burger and then now I will be doing a bunch of KEs and to try to decrease the health of this burger by one every time I do a KE Normally you can only access this places as a chrome character but if a burger is in vision the KE effect will actually hit the burger so that's how we can kill a burger without using crawl at all and this similar concept will be used in level 4 as well Get the checkpoint one and we're going to switch to Kahuna right now. So for this one we are still going to get all the burgers and all the coins. And also I'm trying to set up a strap where I can get the balloon using a well-timed pound on this burger but I'm not very consistent at it so I'll just let it be and a little tip for this section is that you can actually pound on the floor to break that sucker so you don't have to um, go back up on the hill again and now I'm going to enter a spore so just now failing that burger trick actually cost me a little bit of time because I have to come back here as boomer and right now the only way for a glider to reach that balloon is by going all the way back here and black to the to the platform. <coughs> Almost missed that. So in this area we for the all coins and all burgers we use before the KE method was found, we actually use the a combination of Kahuna and Jojito for this entire section and that means I will have to do this balloon section without uh, without a ability which is by using Kahuna and 
it was very scary. Now I'm really glad that this is actually doing collect all coins as the glider is actually viable. <coughs> because once you fall into the void, then you just have to start over again. And the most sketchy thing is that in the all round, we used to not save at the second checkpoint. So that made this even more punishing as we are going to spawn all the way back to the second room. So now that all is done, just ignore everything and just grab the balloon over here. And now we are going to render as Kahuna to collect all the coins. Well, the only reason to grab to use Kahuna over here is the section below the the area, yeah, the, this area. So if we have floor click under this area consistently, then I could have just used scooter to floor click under there and complete everything as scooter alone. But doesn't really. Um, Flop click is basically still a mystery for us other than some recognizable patterns of it. I should be switching to scooter. Scooter, I can do a quick carry. Now I have to get all the progress as scooter as well. You can technically do this as Jojito, but it is slower just because you can slide into burgers as opposed to welding him with your money back or whatever. <laughs> So for this one, we are still going to use KE to kill it. So once the bullet is in vision, I will go over to this little slot to do KE. You can actually do this in the slot below, but there's a chance you're going to slide all the way down. So it is pretty risky for no reason to waste time. And now that's all done. We're going to switch to Ninjoy to get our last work key in this level. So for this wall jumping section, I try to play safe by only jumping to the she shooter while it has finished shooting. So I don't like waste time falling all the way down. So for level five, which is still pretty similar to the first round. I enter as Boomer to collect all coins and all burgers in this room. So there is actually a lot boost we do in any percent, but since we still have to get the four coins over there, it is not really worth it to do the lock boost strap. That's my little movement. I'm not sure how the other IR runners do this. That's just a little something. But 
Let's skip this checkpoint first and try to kill this burger. I realized I almost couldn't kill myself. So I go ahead and save and then return as Ninja. To clear most of the level as Ninja again. So because of her extra jump height, she can actually reach to the other side without using the balloon. And then generally you want to try to bounce aligning the two coins so don't waste time trying to pick them up. Okay. So sometimes if you're lucky enough, you can actually get boosted by the luck for the right side and you'll be boosted almost to the end of the screen. I'm not sure why did I, why I stop there, but it's very bad. So now Ninja's job here is done, so we can save over at the checkpoint and switch back to Boomer again. So you can actually reach this platform as double jump but it is a little precise and not really worth doing in any way except for challenge or anything and boomer is also pretty fast so you grab all the burgers and the coins and lastly we are going to the skill corner I keep failing the Swiss Jack boost. I'm really sure how, but. <coughs> also, fun fact I actually clicked inside here as Kahuna one time, and I couldn't reach the cage because you would really need the rock to reach that. Unless you are a double jump. So, now we are going to enter as. James and this is my favorite segment of this rock. And you have seen one because it's pretty cool. So this first room we are just going to like all the corners. James. And also, compared to the first round, this at level 4, everything has changed, basically. So, I want to kill this burger. So, meanwhile, I want to skip this checkpoint, and I will come back later. I mean, very once I completed a lot of stuff. I'm just going to get as much as get all of the coins as James basically for the first part of the split.
So yeah. Because I'm not going to say oh. the reason I'm skipping that checkpoint is not because that I will want to come back at the earlier point or anything. Um and also as you can see that is the first checkpoint and we're actually skipping the first checkpoint. So that is not it. And what will it be? Come on. And we're going to skip this burger. Maybe this everything is seems to be a very random but you'll see what in just a minute. So I skipped that checkpoint because I want to kill this bad boy first before saving. So although we use you can still use scooter and the same trick to kill such as just as fast but the problem is it actually jumps around. So Sometimes if you get unlucky, then you can actually not get hit by skateboard. And also I had a little brand fart over here. I want to immediately save before um, getting all the work keys, oh, before getting all the coins. So by doing this, next time when I enter this area as Scooter, don't need to find the boss again. Oh, I want to collect scooter, but this is not the last time we're going to use scooter in this level. Now, as you can see, I can just walk. Straight past the arena and come all the way to rescue Yippee. So now I'm going to render as Kahuna. Whoa, what's going on? So now I'm going to use Kahuna to collect all this such coin actually, but I'm going to do this backwards. And you see how uh, skipping the first checkpoint is actually really convenient. And also, yeah, after I collected my Tanipi's first one, which is actually the fourth one, and I'm going to come back up. I skip that burger just because I can pound that burger and it kills it way faster than James. And now getting this last coin will actually bring you back to the second room. So now I can just conveniently save at this checkpoint and grab rest of the such coins around here and and this little corridor over here. No, so that's all some such coins and then now I'm going to come back as scooter. Technically you can also do this with Jojito but it is actually slower. So now I'm going to do a KAE hopefully that is that is bad. Anyways now the KAE and um, so just now I said, when a burger is in vision, they will actually get affected by KE and their health will be reduced by 1, just like a normal hit does. So what I can do is, I can do a bunch of KE over here. And also I have to walk to them, first KE refreshes, to refresh 
the effects of KAE. Now I just run once again, publish, then boom, that's all the burgers. Also, I really love how like, for the second trip of level 432, yeah, 432 and 1, they are all aligned perfectly. So your last character is actually the first character of the next level, which I think is pretty cool. And for this salmon, I really am really not sure what you might do. So for this trip, I'm just going to get all the coins as quickly. <coughs> I'm sorry for the noise outside. So, actually, you don't really need to do KE in this room, but I just like doing it because really, it's really less annoying with this way. So now that's done, we're just going to switch in Jojito and the skill Professor Fit. And for the level 2 second trip, I'm just going to get all the coins using Jorito here because he is actually the best crawler out there. Why? Because of the weapon type. Because the melee area is actually the fastest. Kill enemies with. And I'm pretty sure this um this bot key will forever be hard required with the crawler. So I, I was kind of hoping that we can skip crawler at some point, but that I don't think that is going to happen. Yeah. 
so normally I try to finish up the other work keys before actually doing all this so it is kind of anticlimactic see me doing all this the boring work keys after doing all the harder and challenging ones So I'm going to skip this checkpoint again because I need to go back to the second checkpoint. Let's get all the coins over here. I'm just going to switch to Boomer and rescue um, Akari. Yes. And lastly, we are finally going to clear the bone with Boomer. So, I'm actually kind of debating whether I should use Boomer or Papa B because Boomer can kill burgers faster, but I know she will lose like a second of two by bouncing on the onion and the tomato later in room two. So, in the end, I choose to use Boomer over Papa just because of the how killing burger we saves. And also this segment. I thought I think that the fastest way is just to use the iframes to get the coins. Because the special thing about the Boomer candle is that your first hit to the, the normal enemy actually stuns them but not kill them. So there are like, going to be a reasons for collecting the coins, even if they are stunned. So when you are trying to collect all the coins, walking down here is actually faster than gliding than sliding down because you are going to miss a few coins for sliding. So that is four walk keys in um, a minute, and then we are going to enter as. Kahuna to get our very last walk key. Uh, a few days before this run, I actually learned about a really cool trick used by IR runners, which is to get damage boosted up to the slope. In really practice it, so that's that. I'm not really sure how they attack them. Sure. That's a walk keys. So we're going to run through the X zone as fast as possible. So for starters, we are always going to do a KE. Just to clear off all the enemies. As you can see, there are like tons of enemies in this room alone. 
and that is generally the theme for Exxon, which there are a lot of weird terrains and a lot of annoying enemies. But with the power of KE, we can actually trivialize both those. I have to, I have to say, the moment I learn about KAE, I never do this level without KAE anymore. So, let's say if I'm going to do this level as Marty, I probably would die at some point. Also, as a double jumper, there's like a little cool skip. Actually, jump from the button over to the little platform over there. Try to get a clean KE, but well, miserably. And as you can see, there are still lots surviving because the first KE actually only um, removes their wings. So that's why they are still surviving. Technically, they have like two health, like two points of health. So that was uh, very weird. Um, falling. I've never seen that before. Maybe I'll have to check that later. So my favorite strat here is not to double jump up the stairs, but I'm going to save the last double jump while reaching out to the platform. I can actually um, bypass that burger without waiting. Is like my my only tech whatsoever for this level. <laughs> there are a lot of good IR runners who does this way better than me. So yeah, I would recommend you checking them out. So there's a free K spot over here. I'm going to wait for this to back us to draw around. And I'm not sure if this is faster than riding the balloon, but it is pretty neat that you can do that. And that is X zone. Okay, so that is PL2 or what keys. I hope this video actually explain the routes a little better. And also for the 100% route, if I were to run it, I am going to implement this over the 100% route and try to reroute some of the grind routes if possible. But I don't think there will be much changes. So if you are interested in running 100%, then this will also be a good 
basis to do so. Mm. Anyways, thanks for watching.